Hi, this is episode four of Mick Make Mate's tutorial into Arduino programming. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at resistor color codes, wiring up the button sketch tutorial from the Arduino IDE, making changes to that, wiring up the analog sketch tutorial, and also taking a look at potentiometers. <laughs> One of my subscribers recently told me that I'm saying Arduino completely wrong. <laughs> Seems my camera guy thinks so too. What, what's the matter? Arduino. That's how you say it. Oh man. It is Arduino. Arduino. No, no it's Arduino. <laughs> really? Yes. Arduino? Yes. What's that? that? Sounds silly. And who is this Ard guy anyway? So let's go and get a resistor. So we're left off at episode 3 looking for resistor. Resistors have special colour codes printed on them, so you can determine what value it actually is. I don't know if you know how to decode resistors. I know there's a chart. You know, if you know it off by heart, you just need to know that there's a chart. So we're looking for a 10k, 10 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, Which 10K. would be ideal for a pull-up resistor. All right. So we look at the little colour bands. Each colour band represents the value. You need to be able to find out which end to start from. Oh yeah, otherwise so, it so start, yeah. usually these are 5% tolerance resistors. So the gold end there, Mm -hmm. is it defines the tolerance yep and then the the three bands before it will define the value the value yeah yeah, yeah. okay so if we go to google a whole stack of them uh, actually probably that one's probably a good one usually you'll find four bands yep so like one two three and then the fourth one is this gap here the fourth yeah, the, so the fourth one defines it the, the tolerance is that margin for error that's right yeah, yeah. okay basically the error the first uh, band yeah uh, so if it's red it's going to have a value of two Yep. The second band. If green it's, here. If it's, so if it's green, three. So it's, it's going to uh, be three. twenty-five. And then the third band shows the multiplier. So yep. If you've got four bands, yep. Then the third band is the multiplier. Yep. If you've got five bands, then the fourth band is the multiplier. Yep. So looking at the top example here, we've got red, green, orange. So we know the red is is two. Two. Green is five. Yep. And orange is one k. So what's that? Twenty-five. k. Twenty-five thousand ohms. If we're looking for a 10k ohm resistor, what would we be looking for? Okay, 10k would be a 1 to start off with. So I'm looking for a brown, then I'm looking for a 0, which is black. So I'm looking yeah. for a brown, black, and orange. Yep, yeah. alright. Alright, so Tim, yeah. we've found our brown, black, fantastic orange. 10k ohm resistor. So Tim finally gets around to fixing the floating input issue by applying a pull up resistor. He also gets to see how much of a difference it actually makes. So we've got our flaky LED. So what we want to do is attach 3.3. Actually, do you want to do it? Yeah, sure. So 3.3 volts. Yep. Careful not to touch touch anything. Now you want to touch uh, attach the other end to yep. the input. Yep. Which is that uh, the other one up there. Yep. Okay. So this will solve our floating issue. Now you'll see that the LED is staying on. Solid on, yep. And it's not going to be affected by anything. Uh, so can you just yeah. explain to me what that does to this diagram here? What's, what, what's All right, so, so what we're doing is, um, because we're pulling it up, um, instead of this input just floating, we're pulling it all the way up to, to VCC. So yeah, so it's guaranteed, guaranteed height. In any fluctuation, it's, it's still high enough to be definitely on. Well, it's yeah, you won't see any fluctuation at all. Oh, because it's like a steady stream. Yeah, it's, it's pulled yeah. high. Yep. by 3.3 uh, volts. When we put the switch on, it'll just drop right down to zero. Okay. So we've got a guaranteed high and yep. a guaranteed low. So do you want to do the honors? Yep, okay. So if I follow your place. schematic here, I want to attach it to this resistor part, so yep. which is this leg is also part of the same uh -huh. circuit. And ground, which according yep. to this diagram, let's look at this diagram here. Uh, so ground is on the, the other side. Yep, up the top there. Yep. yep. Okay, which corresponds to this part up here. Do you want to do the honors? All right, here we go. So, bang. Look so, at that. So now it's responding to, you know, light is, uh, <laughs> switch is closed, switch is open. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Success. I can Excellent. control something things. else. Yeah, with, I can control something <laughs> with something else. All right, that's, so... That's the most generic description of Arduino, I think. Controlling yeah. something with something else. <laughs> now that Tim is familiar with the Arduino IDE, I get him to modify the default button sketch. Let's see if he can do it. All right, so here's, here's the next thing. Say when you flick the switch, turn the LED on for a second. Yep. And then turn it off. Even if the switch is on. 
Stay in closed. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> so we've got the situation where you turn the switch on. You turn it on high. Yep. And then after you a delay. Yep. And then you turn it off. Okay. What's the word for delay? <clears throat> delay. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. So we've changed the code. Yep. You've added in a low high. So oh, yeah. how, how, my delay is only know, 10. Ten, ten. Too fast. Ten, ten but, seconds. So yeah, I remember this is at ten milliseconds. Ten milliseconds. So this is so fast. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it's off. Yeah, and you probably won't be able to see it on the camera. So I'll That's make off. it uh, hundred then. Okay, push the button for us. <clears throat> Got the the switch in this state. It's always on, and then we flick it to there. And it's, on and off. There you go, so that's 100 Perfect. milliseconds. Yep. All right, now that Tim has successfully completed the button sketch tutorial, he now moves on to the analog sketch tutorial from the Arduino IDE. For this sketch, you will require a potentiometer or a variable resistor. The next thing, let's move on. All right. Uh, so the next one is we're going to look at a analog read. So potentiometer. So I've got this potentiometer and let's let's first open up the sketch um, analog input, that one. Yep. Perfect. Let's expand that out. In this program, the first two program lines got sensor pin A0 mm -hmm. and LED pin 13. So A0, A0 is, is there. Yep. I've got no header pins for that though, so we're going to choose something else. That's right. So yeah. it's A0 here, so we'll just make it one of the A's. Yep. Any, pick, pick one, anyone. I want to pick A1 because <coughs> it's the last one on the okay, thing. Sounds good. So I'll type in A1. And we've got LED pin on 13. Yep. The rest of the code is fairly straightforward. Pin in the setup, you're setting the pin mode to be an output. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, sensor value. Yep. Um, we're starting off with a sensor value of 0. Yep. Declare the pin as an output, even though it's like <laughs> it can't be an input, right? It's an LED. LED, that's right. Yeah. So we'll go to the loop section. Uh, yep. You'll see analog read. Uh, uh, yes. Which is a function which reads sensor pin, which is a A1. One, and it, uh, it stores it in the sensor value. Oh, okay, value. yep. That's right. Then we, we do a digital write yep. to the LED. And then we delay the value of the sensor reading. And then a write, which makes it low. Then we delay again the so position of the potentiometer, yeah. the variable resistor. It'll um, be faster or slower. It'll, it'll blink faster or slower, yeah. yeah. And, and the delay is rather than me typing <coughs> it in 100, it's actually being derived from the, from the, the potentiometer. Yeah. That's right. So what is a potentiometer? Let's find out. So a potentiometer um, is, is a variable resistor. So internally, You've got three, well this one's got six, but it's the same. So It's, it's a, a double gang. Yeah, it's a double gang, yeah. yeah. So you've got three inputs, and inside it's a big circle, and then the middle pole, and then there's a, a brush that wipes across the inside. And this whole circle here is, is one big resistor. This one is a 10K resistor. From that point to this point is 10 kilo ohms. Yep. Depending on where you've got the knob, it'll read anywhere from zero to 10 kilo ohms yep. between these two points and conversely 10 kilo ohms to zero. So is what we're going to do is apply BCC to there, ground to there, and then we're going to have the input to A1. In a similar way to a pull-up resistor, we're guaranteeing that when we're up here, we've got VCC. When we're down here, we've got zero. So uh, this is basically a voltage divider. So if you've got two resistors uh, of equal value, say 10K, one's attached to VCC, one's attached to ground, and you have an output here, the, the output is guaranteed to be 2.5 if you've got 5 volts here, because it divides it in half. So this variable resistor is, is another ratio. So if you can solder up those three pins, yep. then chuck it in. Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. What happened to the rest of I it? I forgot to charge the batteries, I'm sorry. You forgot I, to charge I, the batteries. I'm really sorry, I won't do it again, I promise. So it looks like this session will be continued in next week's episode. In next week's episode, you'll find that I've given Tim some homework to do. Let's see if he actually comes back and completes it. I'm also going to get Tim to combine the analog and button sketches together and see if he can come up with some complicated programming.